Hi everybody, I'm Mike, and this is Buccaneers and Booty. We're going to be playing a little bit of Sid Meier's Pirates. We are just leaving, um, a Nombre de Dios. And... Just, just check the, the map real quickly here. And we are heading toward... Uh, nowhere, really? Campeche. So, <clears throat> hopefully we'll get a little bit further than we did last time. Because last time we just picked... Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, we just missed a treasure ship. That... That makes Mike a sad panda. Oh, hey. No, no shooty. No shooty. No shooty at Mike. Wait, why do I have three ships? How did that happen? Fight on the captain. I pretend that I know what I'm doing. Let that be a lesson to you kids. You can get very far by pretending to know what you're doing. I've done it all my adult life. Yeah, full sails. Full sails? Full sails. Okay, what's that ahead? It appears to be a friendly Indian village. I see. See, <clears throat> the idea of, of, of saying the word Indian when not referring to people from India is so foreign f to me because <clears throat> here we call what, I, I guess, uh, a lot of the other people around the world call Indian people uh, native people because they're native to... Our, our land. I, I'm from Canada, in case you didn't know. But, um, yeah, so we call them native people here, and here in Canada, to, to call them Indian people is, well, we call them native or, or aboriginal, um, but to call them um, Indian here is viewed to be uh, racist, borderline racist, so it's, it's really foreign to me to, to, to just call people Indian, because I, I it's just weird. Um, so if you see me going by um, uh, an Indian village and, and not calling them Indian and calling them Aboriginal or, or, or Native, that, that's that's what I mean, and that's actually what I'm going to be doing from now on because it's it's just really strange to me, and that's kind of how I have been doing it this entire um, my entire life. So. Um, a mysterious traveler offers to share with you information from his recent vi uh, visit to Curacao. Um, that's interesting, but not interesting enough to, uh... In typhoon. Um... In I don't really care. I don't really have anybody that he needs to be attacking. And we are going to keep on going toward Campeche. I hope I'm saying that right. Again, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying with the whole Spanish thing. It's, um, Spanish is a language that I've always wanted to, to try to learn, and, um, I, I speak French fluently, so, I mean, it should be easier, but I, I never have really gotten the opportunity to learn to speak Spanish, um, in any sort of immersion setting or, or, or anything like that, so I've never been to a Spanish-speaking country, or um, when I was going to school uh, here in Canada, uh, as opposed to, say, in the, in the U.S., you'll, you'll often have English and, and Spanish as the, uh, the, the second language that, that you can learn. Um, here, um, the second language that you learn is French. Now, um, f for me, I just kept on continuing in French because, I mean, that was... That's actually my first language. Um, just gonna duck into Amelant here. And, um, yeah, so I just kept on with my, my French education. I, I went to a, a French immersion school um, here where I live. And then when I went to high school, even though it wasn't a French high school, I just took the the French classes for the French students as opposed to the French class for the, the English students, so. 
That was pretty much what transpired with me. There was no Spanish option. Ooh. Plage Noir. Near the city of Favetta. Well, I will have to take him on. I think that's Black Bart. Although there is nothing around him to indicate that there is black. Maybe his hat, but I would figure that you would have had like a black like hair or beard or something like that. Uh, I don't really care about your visit to Port uh, to Port de Paix, but thanks for the info. Uh, we are going to sail away, and we are going to keep on going to Campeche. Um, still not having to deal with a lot of ships coming along the way. We got another Aboriginal village here. Yazapa. Uh, San Felix, a friendly Jesuit mission. We're going along very casually. Ooh, my crew is um, salty. And not just because they're out at sea. Oh, Chichen Itza. It's a chicken! Sorry, that's just a bad joke that I've been making ever since I learned of Chichen Itza. Uh, do we need to trade with the chief? Not particularly. Um, let's talk to him, though. Um... I can't think of any real reason to get him to attack anyone, because we're pretty far away from anybody that has... Yeah. I figured that I was going to have some people deserting. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Another ship! I'm super excited about that. Hopefully we can catch up to it and... Board it, or, or, or f just fight, or something. Because I'm sure you guys are tired of me just babbling on about... Whoa. Yeah, you... You, <laughs> you can't go to Camp Ash directly through the land. You're on a boat. <gasps> ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello, Mr. Trade Galleon. La Via Hermosa. From what I understand of Spanish, I think that means nice house. Or the nice city. Something like that. Um, well, we got some gold. So that's good. Uh, let's take... Let's take some sugar. Uh, I'm not really interested in keeping this galleon. So we are going to sink it. And then we're going to keep on going. We're going to pass Le Gardon. St. Alban, I believe that we established this as an English settlement. Oh, 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 are we going to catch up to this ship? Can we catch up? Oh, it looks like we might. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. The Cataluna. All right, Cataluna, face my wrath. My wrath is amazing. <laughs> Give it a lake, it tastes just like wrath. This game really makes me want to play um, Guns of Icarus Online, which is something that I played a lot um, before the people that I played with on a regular basis uh, went away to, you know, a place where the internet was spotty, like way up in the Arctic Circle, so uh, we weren't playing any multiplayer games while they were gone. <laughs> uh, we are going to take their goods. Because we're pirates, and we take things. But we're not going to take the ship. Uh, Pueblo, ne, Pueblo Nuevo? Oh, Campeche is just down south here. 
All right, Montalban. Oh, whatever. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, whatever is in you get to get away. I mean, whatever is in... I don't care that you're not, like, a big trade galleon. There we go. Big volley, that should do some damage. That ship is pretty much done for him. It's just gonna be floating there. Alright. Not really worried about this too too much. Try to shoot me? Bang bang! Dual wield punk! Get ow! Get shot with a flint a flintlock pistol and then get stabbed. Ow! You're pretty good at this dueling thing. There we go. But you know who's better? Me! 20 gold pieces plundered? You said they like a warship, so... But they didn't really have much of anything, except for a bunch of guns. Um, these guys have no guns, no sails, and let's face it, no hope. <laughs> there we go! Uh, they also have 19 tons of goods. Which we will gladly take from them. And then we're going to sink their ship. Because... Frankly, we're just being jerk faces. Okay. We are going to come into Campeche. Ooh. I think I want to attack the town. This is going to be a close, close fight. Um... What other start locations can we have? Uh, no, this is a bad one. This starts us on higher ground, mostly, and in cover. Plus, it kind of starts us in the middle. I think I like that. Okay. Um, my officers. I'm gonna move them here because I don't want. I don't want other. Um, I don't want opposing units to be able to go into these, um, um, like into this cover. Um, I'm going to leave these buccaneers here, because I believe they have a bit of a height, um, bonus. These guys can s stay here, I believe. Yeah, that's not going to help you. There we go. And the scouts are going to have to come to me over... All these guys are going to have to come toward me over open ground, so... I'm okay with that. I'm going to stay here. Um, these buccaneers can stay here. As far as I'm concerned. These guys can move over. One two, and then the next turn they can move into that cover. Um, these Buccaneers will stay here. These Buccaneers can't shoot anyone yet, so they will stay there. Um, I like being in that cover, because it helps with the, uh, not taking as much damage. There we go. Come on, now. I believe, ultimately, we will... Um, hmm. One, two. We'll take these archers handily. Um, I guess we'll shoot those guys. Uh, these pirates. Pirates can move over here. These pirates can move here. So I want them closer. Why are... Th I suppose I can change targets, but, I mean... I... At the, at the same time, I don't want... Those guys to flank. So I guess I want to inflict... As much damage on them as I can. 
Okay, well, you don't have to worry about them anymore. These guys are going to take a lot of damage, I think. Ooh, yeah, I don't know that I like that. Yeah, I think that's it for that unit. But, <clears throat> I think, if I'm not mistaken, we're, um, we have a two unit to one advantage. You have two moves. So, if we were to front up twice... Hmm. One, two, yeah, that wouldn't quite get you to where you need to be, would it? Perhaps we'll stay here for right now. Why can you not shoot these guys? You could fire on them, though. They won't move, will they? I'm going to have to charge them. My counter punch, like my counter attack strategy, is not going to work. I don't think. Not with the um, melee infantry that I have. So I'm gonna have to charge them. I'm gonna move these guys up and. Continue fighting from... And, uh... Oh yeah, we should, we should definitely win the... Win the day here. Because I believe that in melee, these units do very, very poorly. Um... Hmm, well this will be a close fight. Interesting. Well, that's good. Um, and we seem to have ha handily won the day. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, the Sack of Kempesh uh, yields a ransom of 3,700 gold pieces. Um, it remains Spanish, though. And um, we're going to consult with the shipwright. We're going to repair. We're going to upgrade the triple hammocks, although we probably don't really need to. Um, trade with the merchant. He doesn't really have good prices on anything, does he? Um, talk to him. Well, I'll see what I can do. No, I don't really care. It's Spanish. Uh, the Gibraltar. Gibraltar is not good for the economy either. Welcome aboard, guys. We could use you to replace some of the men that we lost. Do we go talk to the governor? Hello. Yes, I know that you're at war with the English... Th well, actually, I didn't know that you were... Yes, I did, I did sack the town that we are currently in. Um, I will dance with you. I want to know more about, uh... About the Marquis Montalban. Right. And then we are going to go and hop to the left. And then to the right. You see, this is actually a classic espionage tactic where you go and you dance the minuet in order to extract information from your mark um, by charming them with your prancy dance moves um, and your 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 fancy britches uh, it also helps if your epaulets are of the highest quality uh, little known fact uh, I know these things because I um, am a researcher, and if I went any further into why I knew these things, then I would have to track you all down and murder you. Um, but I, I don't want to have to do that, so I, I like all you guys. And just just know that what I do, I, I do for the good of everyone. 
I'm sorry. I tend to... I tend to ramble while we're doing these dance sequences for whatever reason. <laughs> I guess you can only watch so many dance sequ uh, sequences before... I mean, they get boring if, if I'm not saying anything during them, so... Hopefully what I'm saying is not detrimental and is somewhat entertaining. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what information? Our fox. Okay, well that that's a good reward. But where's Montalban? Oh no, he's not here. His hideout's close to here. Derp. Okay, um, we've gone over time. Uh, next, uh, next episode, what we will do is we will go and look for his hideout because it's close to here. Um, I forgot because I'm a derp, but we, we, I mean, we did some stuff, we fought, and we took over the city, and we charmed some ladies, and I told you a thing or two about espionage, so, I mean, you learn something, and, I mean, you learn something about tactics, you learn something about espionage, and you learn something about love, hopefully. So, yeah, if, if you liked learning about these things, feel free to go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Um, if you want to learn more about things like espionage and tactics in taking over colonial Caribbean cities as pirates or or charming governor's daughters um, feel free to subscribe because that's what we do here um, if, <laughs> if you have any positive or negative feedback feel free to leave it in the comment section down below um, if you want to join me on Facebook or on Steam you can do that by clicking on uh, one of the links in the description, and it should take you right there. Um, but uh, I've been Mike, you've been you. This has been Buccaneers and Booty. I'd like to 